that is dorsal surface of pons of pons and uh, medulla oblongata. It is uh, this dorsal surface is look like rhomboid fossa, and uh, we can see inferiorly that is inferior peduncles of cerebellum. They start from medulla oblongata. It is medial peduncles of cerebellum. They start from pons. And now superior peduncles. They are part of uh, isthmus rhombencephaly. On the border between rhombencephalon and midbrain, we have isthmus rhombencephaly. The, that is midbrain, superior colliculus of midbrain, inferior colliculus, and that is superior peduncles of cerebellum, and space between them closed with the help of volume medullaris superior. And uh, uh, the same we can see triangle Trigonum Lemnisci. This triangle has so name because it is lateral Lemniscus take place. Today you already know which Lemniscus? Yes. Medial Lemniscus yes. medialis. It conducts all types of sensitivity from human body, tactile, temperature, pain, proprioceptive sensation, that is in the meniscus medialis, lateral lemniscus, that is auditory fibers. Auditory fibers makes lemniscus lateralis and it, it pass in triangle, trigonum lemnisci. Uh, this triangle uh, posteriorly uh, border of this triangle, that is superior peduncles of cerebellum. Anteriorly, that is brachium of inferior colliculus of midbrain, and inferiorly, that is peduncle of the brain, pedunculi cerebri. And between them, we have trigonum limnisci. And now, trigonum limnisci, superior peduncles of cerebellum, and superior volume, volume medullaris superior, together, together. Um, forms uh, isthmus rhombencephaly. That is a border between rhombencephalon and midbrain. And this diagram only for your understanding. Now, some words about cerebellum. Cerebellum consists of two hemispheres, hemispheria cerebelli, and between them, unpaired structure which join together this hemisphere, that is vermis. Vermis, it is unpaired structure. Um, that is right hemisphere of cerebellum should be the same on the left side and between them should be vermis. It is only right hemisphere we can see. Uh, what is this department of brain? Help me. Medulla oblongata. Here it is. Pons. That is pons. That is why. What is this peduncle? Which yes, middle peduncle. It starts from pons and continues into cerebellum. That is why from medulla oblongata, from here, inferior peduncles continues into the cerebellum, and from midbrain, from isthmus, start superior peduncle, and the same. It goes into cerebellum. Uh, not so clear, but it is inferior peduncles, that is mid medial peduncle, and should be from uh, midbrain, should be here and here superior peduncles of cerebellum. Today you already know which tract pass through medial peduncle, only one tract, that is pontus cerebellaris. The same, you know, tracts in inferior peduncles. That is tractus spina cerebellaris posterior, fibra arcuata externa, and then nucleus olivaris and vestibular nuclei has uh, tracts in two uh, directions. 
from nucleus olivaris to cerebellum, we have tractus oliva cerebellaris in opposite direction, cerebella olivaris. And the same about vestibular nuclei, tractus vestibula cerebellaris goes upward, and from cerebellum, tractus cerebella vestibularis goes to vestibular nuclei. They, they, that is inferior peduncles. And now superior peduncles. Superior peduncles has two tracts. One of them goes to cerebellum, that is tractus, spina, cerebellaris. Help me who remember. We have from in spinal cord, we have two tracts, anterior and posterior. Posterior pass in inferior peduncles, that is why in superior peduncles, tractus, spina, cerebellaris, anterior. And second tract, that is tractus cerebella tegmentalis. It goes to midbrain, from cerebellum to midbrain. Tractus cerebella tegmentalis. Well, and now, and now, some words about hemisphere. A hemisphere has a lot of fissura cerebelli, and spaces between them has named fo uh, folia cerebelli. Deepest fissura, that is horizontal fissura, fissura horizontalis cerebelli, it separates hemisphere into dorsal part and ventral part. Mm. In ventral part of hemisphere, mm, sometime it is more clear to see, uh, should be small isolated part of cerebellum near of medial peduncle. Uh, that is flocculus, and this flocculus joined with the help of peduncle with nodulus, and flocculus together with nodulus, nodulus makes floccular nodular system, and this system together with nucleus fascigi inside of cerebellum, uh, that is oldest part of cerebellum, archicerebellum, and function of them that is balance balance. Next, old cerebellum or paleo cerebellum consists of vermis, vermis and two nuclei, nucleus globosus and nucleus emboliformis, the same inside of cerebellum. Uh, they participate in uh, coordination of movements of the trunk and neck. And new cerebellum or neo cerebellum, that is hemisphere, together with nucleus dentatus, nucleus dentatus, uh, that is coordination of muscles of extremity, upper and lower limbs uh, receive innervation from new cerebellum, neo cerebellum, that is cortex of hemisphere and nucleus dentatus. I think that is all. Uh, cerebellum and isthmus rhombencephaly next time. It is not so much. Uh, 